No man, we don't we can't punish the police. Oh we should punish that the police. That is what they are trying to do. This, no, no. Police is not Babylon. Babylon is a live. Alright. You understand me more? Right. You get right. this in okay. your head, you know. So yeah. when you take by a Jamias CD and you hear me burn Babylon, me have burn Babylon and I want you to help me burn Babylon. This live that have you have to be worth. Granny used to tell me all the time. Cheats and preparation combined The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryan Representing for I just it Rich forever I don't know if you remember the case with Darrell Vaz With the policeman who gave um, um, Evidence against Darrell Vaz in court if Daryl Vazin, if the police force was interested in promoting honest police, that policeman would be a soup now. Sergeant Hubert Llewellyn. You know what the police force said about Sergeant Hubert Llewellyn? That he's an informer. A police job is supposed to be an informer. You know? So when, a pol when the police force and its hierarchy is going to treat a policeman like that, an honest police officer, what you expect? You're going to expect that the other police them say, oh, me? I'm not going to do that then because if me I go, if me I go say something wrong on me and because I choose somebody we're up in a society, then me, my career, I go, them are going to tarnish my reputation and my career and them are going to sideline me and treat me like me have, um, like me have some uh, incurable disease. I, mean, I am not going to do it. So that's why the corruption is going on. Sergeant so, Llewellyn, should be the poster child of the police force to say yes this is the kind of police that we want in the police police force and once and once you're honest there's we have reward for you in the police force by promoting this man you see them promote sergeant lowellin he must sergeant from them lock up daryl vaz and the key and um gm sir uh, gm Sab and, uh, and the others so the police force do not cater for honest people me so me you don't want nothing more than that. So when I talk about say, this commissioner of police, I, this, I beg to differ. See, you understand? Yes, the commissioner sir. of police, when he, when he came into office, and I don't care what anybody wants to say, the commissioner of police, this police commissioner of police is a political activist. Uh, he, was, he's, he was the prime minister's national security advisor what kind of national security jamaica we now fight no war and them thing there the enemies them are wherever within you understand national security i know he's the commissioner of police if he wants to change the face of the police force the first thing that he should have done he brought it is my um the soldier you know let me show you how corrupt the police forces and you know understand people don't understand if you have a hospital and you have the janitors with clean stuff and them thing, and because the prime minister know um, the janitor, the prime minister is going to turn the janitor as the, the head surgeon for the hospital. So you know how, how that works. Explain that. That is straight corruption. The janitor is not a doctor. Oh, you're gonna turn it. Oh, you're gonna turn the janitor in a doctor, and that is what they have done with the um with the soldier. They turn the soldier into a police. And guess what they said? So, boy, the police force is too corrupt to have any police. And the police need the police force. When if the police force is corrupt, they are the, they are the one that cor um, corrupted the, the police force. You understand? But yet still, a police officer who is honest is not being promoted by the same man with them say I change the police force. This commissioner of police. If you want to change the police force and show that you're doing something about it, Sergeant Llewellyn, just like how he brought, he brought a man from the army and turned this man into an assistant superintendent of police. This man don't know nothing about policing. How comes him? Be, oh, because he's my driver. He become police. He, know, he haven't been to any training or anything like that. Do you know any person who's a doctor? I've never been through medical school. No, you know, no, not that, all. That, that, I, don't, uh, I don't know. None of them so, are. You know, yeah, so the police force itself, even at this this juncture, is still corrupt. You cannot Sorry. expect it. You cannot uh, expect a corrupt police, the police itself. 
this commissioner of police is just as corrupt as any other, or even more. And the reason why I'm saying that, right, you hear the matter about, oh, oh, I'm getting rid of corruption and this and that. Right now, you have, you have, you hear them talk about Rev and all them things from the 90 school, like Rev, I, Rev and this and him bringing them in the guns and them things. You know, right now, if they're talking about them, they want a clean police force. You know, right now, you have three police officers who are very close to Rev, who's going to be deputy superintendent of police. Remember, you know, I live in America and I do not live in Jamaica. I was a police officer there. But you have corrupt police officers who are very close to Rev and have even Rev numbers in their cell phones. So if they were doing any investigation about Rev to clean out, the, to cleanse the police force as corrupt police, wouldn't those two, wouldn't um, these police officers would be sidelined and take a book and say, and say, why? They want to find out what's the relationship with the RF. Oh, you RF the palm phone at 15, 20 minutes. You understand? And how many times have been to Rev um, yard and them thing there and been to party and all of them something. Like that. And Rev is a known criminal. Oh, Rev, a convicted, is a convicted drug dealer, is able to get a clean bill of health for saying now no conviction and all of them things eh? because his record was expunged. You understand? But yet still, when the, the police did their investigation at, at NIB, the National Intelligence Bureau, and NFDIC, and it came back the man is a convicted drug dealer. A man who is the deputy commissioner of police right now, he instructed a man who is the senior superintendent of police. The guy who's at Unsbane and Ricketts to sign the documents. Ah, what in name? The senior super at Unsbane to sign the document to give rep. And, and this man is still there in charge of police officers. And yet, the police officer you know, who are at St. Andrew North, that name um, Fletcher, here and Fletcher, because the man, the same killing now will go back to Tadmar, that man. When the people had blacked the road, he had said something that upset Jel Delroy Chuck. Because, and you know, Delroy Chuck is a labor writer and everything. You know, you know so Delroy Chuck is a man that loves criminals. You know. If you're a criminal and a cop killer, Delroy Chuck loves you. You, know. you understand? A labor right brother. They. Them the man in a light police. You know. I don't know how the man they have all police are protect them and everything. You know. I don't know how police do it and them thing. If you know, say, you have somebody where you're a bodyguard when I like you. Ask me, I could not do that in good conscience. So the police force is not, is not going forward. And if they are modernizing the police force, you know, we see from time and time again where police officers being arrested with a legal gun. And their reason for having a legal gun, they can't get, cannot get a license. If you're modernizing the police force, when I joined the police force and graduated in, in the late 1980s, but right then, you know, Jamaica was very peaceful, you know. As a young police, as one, one man, you know, I wasn't even 19 then. I could command one bus to do what I want to do. Policing and the people would help me. You understand? If, if, if I was out there, it never happened to me, you know, and somebody is fighting me as a police officer. Just like how you would see in America, you know, Jamaicans would come to my aid as a police officer, you know. I help me subdue that man, you know. Unlike what you're seeing now, the opposite. You understand? There's so much things that need to be done in Jamaica to change. If people have um, faith in a police force and show that the police force is modernized. If the police force is modernized, it's simple. All right, this is it now. Oh, uh, well, a man join the police force, you don't trust him forever a god. To have a keep and carry gun. No more in Jamaica, find your police. That in the 80s, may I tell you about it. You know, you're marked for death. That are more than 34 years ago. That, and even before then, at that time, the proliferation of firearms, gunmen never, um, boys never have access to guns then, as they do now. So when a police officer graduates from the police training school, um, what do you call it? National Police College. As him graduate, him supposed to get a gun on him thing. You're gonna say you can't trust him with a gun, but him can't go out the road with a gun. Him so, look, if he wanna commit crime on him thing, let the law deal with him. But you're supposed to make him feel protected. Make him protect himself. 
a lot of them are resort to illegal guns because when they apply to FLA, they cannot get any gun. And, and the reason for this is we are going right back now to a man named Christopher Dudusko. Remember what I tell you, the Jamaican people, or the police force, corrupt on this and that. Yes, I am not going to deny that. But it's, not, it, it's a minority, but you don't know, in society, minority become a, man, a, a majority because everybody's going to get painted the same. Way. It's just like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if, if you know this. In the 70s, you know, you know, say a blue seam, police were used to work a blood bank, they'd rape a donkey. And anytime police are uh, blues, uh, them call them blue bag then. In the seventies, in the blood bank where they pan slide for no. Anytime, I don't know if you ever hear about that, you know. So anytime people, you know, say blue scene back then, they would have a donkey sound. And you know why people stop it? A man go see a blue bag downtown, a big tree, and make a donkey sound, and one shot him, shot him, and kill him. So nobody, nobody follow up that again. And in turn, they see the police, they behave like the, make the donkey sound. Police did charge and in the you know in the gateway of a murder Said. case that you know you understand. Yeah, more if ask you want the... mm. I pray, I pray this. Sorry. Um yeah, you have a virgin on the internet named Politics Watch. Sir P. Yeah. Mm, I am not Sir P. I never ask you if you sir P. Oh, okay. Because a lot of people, you know, even on my channel and all them things, because of his rhetoric, you know. And I am not, and I don't even know the guy. See, I never, I never even ask you if you are sir P. He's still there. See, we never, mm. yeah. But um, but the question I may ask you still, do you think um, that Virgin platform assists the police in a Jamaica? Yes, man. And I support him. I support him a, a million percent, man. He's doing a wonderful job because, you know, you have to have people who talk for the voices. In Jamaica, we always have Remember, you know, the, the, the criminals have more supporters in Jamaica than the law-abiding citizens. And you have to understand that crime is a big business. You know? And the people who propel the criminals them to this pinnacle are people who are making crazy money like Dr. Carolyn Gomes. She's the founder of Jamaican for Justice. Jamaican for Justice has done nothing but to empower criminals. And we... Indicom, and we'll go right back there. Indicom is the brainchild because of the extradition of Christopher Dudusko. So that was the way that the labor rights was retaliating against the police force. And guess what? The PMP from the 1990s, P.J. Patterson, wanted Indicom, and it was the late Edward Siaga that was against it. Even the former commissioner of police, Francis Fabric, if anyone who knew him would tell you that, so the labor right now because they were angry with the police because they assist uncle sam in extraditing this man who, who was untouchable in jamaica because the jamaican police couldn't find couldn't find any witness or anything to arrest and charge this man so to send him a prison you understand just like how they were able to convict zeke's um for his role you know the double murder they they, they used them from up by Arborview. So the reason why the labor rights and the PMP, the only the only enemy you know, both of them have in Jamaica, you know, both political parties, is the police. Because remember, the police is the one that has the powers of arrest. You know. So it's both of them, you know, the labor rights and the PMP. And Bruce Golden, you know, was a criminal, is a criminal supporter, you know, that labor rights guy. You know. The man in you know, a like police period, right, you know. And I, mean, I don't care where any of the police were to say. The man they are a criminal supporter. So when he creates Indicom, Indicom was created as a way to retaliate against the police. The Jamaican police are the only police in the world you know, that have no rights. You know. If you're a criminal in Jamaica, you, know, you have more rights than a police officer. You know. And the reason why I'm saying that a criminal have the right to remain silent and a police officer in Jamaica have to give a statement to Indicom about what they have seen and what happened. I, who have served in the military here in the United States of America, 
not even if, you know when I was in the military or something. Not not no not even my commanding officer could co- um to fo- could force me to give a statement. And if I don't, I end up I end up at court martial. But yet still in Jamaica, if you do not give a statement to Indicom, you as a police officer end up in jail. So you see who so, so, so you see who the system benefits the criminal. The criminal can kill people, and when the police arrest him, he has the right to remain silent, and he does not have to say nothing. But the police officer who is present when something happened have to tell Indicom what happened so that they can charge the other police officer to investigate. Which is so the police in Jamaica you know, don't enjoy any constitutional rights. You know. And if the federation, the police federation was not a political organization, they would make certain that the police have the same rights as the citizens. So the same way the criminal can remain silent, the police should be able to remain silent. That's why I'm telling you, if, if half of the laws that they have in America, in Jamaica, the Jamaica, Jamaica would be a crime-free society. A few years ago, in 2007 or there about, there's a part in Miami, they call South Beach, that's in Miami Beach. And there was some shooting with some police officers and, and gunmen and people die and stuff like that. And they re- recover a gun. And one of the police, one of the police said, I'm not writing a statement. And it's the part, you know, you know, uh, they, they walked to this and they came down hard on him and end up in court. And the judge, the judge is a simple in the Supreme Court. I want the biggest, highest court in, in America. So the police have the same rights as a citizen. If he does not want to give a statement, he have a right to do that. And it's, that is his legal right. In Jamaica, you know, many police officers have criminal conviction because they did not give in the common statement and they are fined $800,000. Remember, it's four people, children, not joined police force. You know? You're not, no middle class person or rich person, children, is not joining the police force. Only like Major Anderson, um, who's the commissioner of police, and because he already he already served him time in the military as a military, and he have him pension and uh, collecting. How much he make? One hundred and eighty thousand US every year, and this man have no polit no police certification. You think that could happen in America? I, as a former member of the armed forces in America. It, you think I could get a job as as a police to be a police chief of any police organizing any police agency in America without having certification? That could not. Um, you have to have certification. So that's where the corruption lies. You understand? But because this is what they say now. But because um, the police force is so corrupt, they must find somebody from outside, which is nothing but garbage. I am going to. I want to. You have a one. You have a one assistant commissioner of police. And I am not talking about any deputy. I am talking about an assistant. So he's below the deputy. A guy named Makata Sutherland. And the reason why I am calling his name. Anytime you hear police, you hear one police. And it's because that you must always do your investigation and find out that the character of police. You see, this guy named Makata Makata Sutherland. I knew him from training school, you know. It's one of the most, it's one of the most honest police officers. This guy doesn't care about the political party or your affiliation. This is the guy who cares about the rule of law. If they had placed that guy to become commissioner of police, they know that he will be beholden to no guy. The polit- politician couldn't tell him what to do and how to police the police force. A hardworking police officer very um, meticulous in his investigation, but he's not corrupted. So you have to understand how corruption works in a police force. As I said to you before, and I'll go back again to you, Bert Lowellin. If the police force wants to show that it's going on a different trajectory and they want nothing to do with corrupt police officers, you, Bert Lowellin, would not be a sergeant today after more, more than a decade. The same way the commissioner see. of police brought his soldier from the army and turned him into an assistant superintendent of police and he has no certification or qualification as a police officer. Sergeant Lowell, Hubert Lowellin, who have served the Jamaican people 
from from for more than 34 years and because of his honesty and because of his ethics and because of his truthfulness he's been punished for that and he's still a sergeant whilst the commissioner of police major anthony anderson brought a man from the army and turned that man in an assistant superintendent this man do not know how to investigate even a bad word but yet still a man who have done so many things for the jamaican people is being punished for being a good police officer so when you're telling people about informer it appears to be an informant ask sergeant lowlin sergeant lowlin was an informer and he's been punished and he's, he's labeled as an informer by police by high-ranking police officer officer you understand like dcp stewart and the other um the other one um kevin blake and the likes label this man who's seen at the minute an informer or if you label a police officer in pharma when the man is doing what he's supposed to do this is a man that's supposed to be the poster child honest ethics and truthfulness as a police officer well, you yeah, the police you cannot you cannot get clean water from dirt from a dirty stream unless you feel tight right? you Sin. understand Sin. 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 yes i yes far i well yeah i think um you know we are gonna seal it pan pan that point there you know <laughs> i think they are make a interesting point they can't get um clean water from dirty vessel you know so um i don't know if that sums up um the jamaican uh, police force today but more of a thank the eye still um for taking the time you see me i say uh we there for a good while and a whole heap being said i mean no there i have a whole heap more to be said still you know but there's always another time still we could uh, um continue you see me i say um sure. yes my brother so you know we give thanks to the man taking the time man it's been an honor and um i know i i, I hope what the i you know he's saying here you know can be of some um some inspiration then to you know to 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 ones out there you see me i say yes i True. so give I thanks like, I, yeah got you yeah yeah man the most important thing is just to change mind you understand yes to show you them especially from jonestown jungle that you don't have to be, you know, the general stock and dead early. Or you know, Harry Dog, who is living like a dog you now and everything. They both you know how many people he killed. Mm-hmm. But yet still he's walking from jungle to go by clinic to get treatment for his diabetes and hypertension. There's a better way. The book. The book is better than the gun. It's as simple as that. All you want is the book. Because with the book, that take your places. Mm-hmm. The Virgin you Island there in England or somewhere. I name there. Ah, ring a bell, man. Anyway, pardon me. No, the Harry Dog, I think, you know, uh, me, you know name there. I think the Virgin there did in England somewhere. But... Yeah, man, he was in England, man. He might live like a dog now in Jamaica. Wow. I saw him on, on a, you know, on a YouTube video where he's boasting how many people killed and but yet still not even fast to eat him up, you know. <laughs> so that does it is just crazy. You, you know, these youth don't follow themselves. So the most important thing is the inspiration to inspire these youth to read. You understand? If these youth listen to you know um the teaching of and philosophy of Marcus Gary. You know, I remember but I remember back then you know, used to you know, every in the community, you used to have people that read to people and things, you know. And that's how people, it helps people, other pe- others to read. Because yes, if you sorry. read every day, you know, it's empower you, you know. So nobody can take you a fool, you know. Because when people are telling, like when some people are, you know, talking crap, you know, say, eh, no, that's not true, you know, that is not what I've read, you understand? 
anything. If you walk in and you see something, anywhere you go and you see something, pick it up and read it. Because sometimes, what you, what, you know, that's, that's information is very, very vital mm. and critical to your upliftment. Do not put yourself in a box. You understand? You know, I remember, you know, as a young police uh, station at Maplin, I get a help along the way. And I remember this guy, um, there was a car pulling. You know, the man was a late man, a big labor writer, you know, man. The man ate me, you know. All because I wish for my barn and everything. And the man said, boy, I must be a gunman and everything. You know. But the man who was in charge of him, that man was a PMP, a man named Peril, and him died. Rest in peace. He loved me, you know, man. You understand? You know, I don't know if it's because of where I come from and everything. You know. But the other man, the man ate me, the man said, him don't understand how me join the police force and as a peer gunman come from this land. You understand? Till all the man put on a name for me, you know, and call me Sprangler. That means me a bad, as police, young police, you know. And to this day, a lot of, you know, some police were used to work a client and I saw them call You understand? So, you know. Yes, so you, go, you don't, you know, you don't make people where you from determine your destination. Mm-hmm. You can't go. The sky is the limit. I guess so. I understand. Yeah, man. Yes, and the father. most important thing is your character, your credibility. I know all kind of people, you know. All, you know, you understand. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, man. Yes, my king. Mm-hmm. Well, give thanks um, for the word sound. Um, yeah, man. Most appreciated of Aya. So that's yeah, you know. yeah, man, respect. Yeah, man, respect. I, I just uh, yes, I. So we not stop. We just you know pause. <laughs> if, we, if we start again, you see me. I say so. Give thanks uh, again, my brother. My brother. Manners and respect, yeah, man. and um, you know, uh, mention the i channel again, and and so people can come yeah, over man. there and yeah. subscribe. Yeah, man, J- Jamaica Young Police Channel. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, we even have a WhatsApp group where people can communicate. Yeah, you know, with see. each other. Yes, I. You you see, I as I have said before, them thing that I do not like criminals. Uh, criminals are parasites, you know. Mm-hmm. You understand? But I have police officers in Jamaica that I trust. That's you know whatever information somebody pass on to me, that's confidential. None of my informant never die. Never, no gunman never kill me. As I keep that close to my chest and them thing. You know, it's, it's called confident confidentiality. See. Some police are corrupt, as we say. You know them. You know them sell information, and you know cause people them like. Mm. Yeah, police we are it man and all them thing there, and you know, as I say, it's just a pause and them thing there. Eh? Believe you me. Yeah. Yeah. When 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 when, when, when we forward, we are gonna look on that side of the thing, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah man. Yeah man. So give mm. thanks. And um yeah, yeah we only stop for continue my lad, see? So yeah, I shoot me a ca- shoot me a copy of it, you know. When I when I go release it and them thing, but just keep it, you understand? Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. Alright, yeah. alright, my brother. Blessed love, man. Alright, cool. my king. Manners and respect. Rastafari. Right? Every time my brother, cool, yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Respect. Yes, sir. Yes, honorable family. Yeah man, dear the item. Have it. Um yeah, long reasoning um, with the past police officer of um, the Jamaica um, police force. Zin, yes, I. Um, yeah, so, yeah, bless up the virgin, you know what I mean? Have a lot of information. Zin, and yeah, a lot of the other reason with we in the comment section, let me know your views your thoughts i uh, know it's a long video um, it's two hour and odd you see me yeah man two hour and odd you see it but um yeah so it go you see it? that's the reason with we but before we move before we move make we Introducing to you now a hot reggae song, No Lies, by artist Mosiah, available on all digital download platform, Apple Music, Spotify, available now, No Lies, by Mosiah, stream now. Hit that subscribe button, see you.
see you on the next video. I just start the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset.